When's the last time you wept for the lost? So when I was in high school and I became a Christian, I just started looking at all my friends differently that didn't know Jesus. I mean, it, it consumed me, that, that grief, that sorrow, that unceasing anguish that Paul talked about. Man, that was me. I would cut class to tell people about Jesus. I mean, it's not that I didn't want to cut class anyways, but it's, it's just the, I, I, I still remember, you know, I'd get in conversations, I would just forget about class. This is bigger. I remember getting my high school yearbook when I was a junior. We got our yearbooks, and, and I, I just started thinking, these seniors that are graduating in a couple weeks, I'll never see them again. And I just got on the phone. I just started calling every single one I knew. And I go, man, this is going to be the weirdest phone call you've ever received. I go, but you know, I mean, we kind of know each other. I just think we'll never hear from each other again. And, and I got to tell you about something that changed my life. And just start going through this. I, I remember being in junior college and, and, and it's just my passion for my friends. I remember trying to start a Bible study on campus and, you know, and just thinking, I'm going to reach this whole, my, my whole school. Like, I, I got to see them. They're my friends. I love these guys. Man, I remember waiting tables. I remember waiting tables at this restaurant. And, and, and I don't know if you guys have ever waited tables, but you get so close to the other waiters and waitresses. You know, you, you're just this little, you know, click. You get together and you complain about your customers. You complain about the managers. You just bond. And, 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 and every, uh, every night, though, every night, I remember, they would all go out and they all get drunk. And they would, they would take me along so I could drive them all home. And, you know, and, 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 and I just remember just sharing with them. But I remember just one day having so much fun. We went to Six Flags and we just had a great time. I just remember coming home and just weeping and just begging God, going, God, you can't let these people go to hell. I love Lori. I love Harmic. I love Ron. You can't do this. Do something, man. I, I can't do anything for them. You know, you say the prayer of a righteous man is powerful and effective. And I, I want all the sin out of my life. I want to be as righteous as I can. I just want you to hear me. I want you to save these people. Man, I've, I've, I've felt those times of this unceasing anguish. I'll never forget when my, my grandmother was dying. Probably the most painful time in my life. You, you know, she'd come in from Hong Kong. This is the woman that raised me for, for, for part of my life. I, I loved her and everything else, but she didn't believe in Jesus. And she had a stroke, and they were waiting for me to get to the hospital before they turned off the machine, you know. And she was brain dead, everything else. It was just me, my brother, and my grandmother in that room. And I just remember getting down, you know, and just, just screaming in her ear in Chinese as well as I could, just trying to explain the gospel and saying, God, I know. I know you can't just save her. You know, you can't just let her into heaven. But, but I know she's supposed to be brain dead, but you can change that. Can you, can you just get her to to hear my voice. That's all I'm asking. Just let me share some of the things I never got to share and I wanted to share. And so I'm just in her, I'm bawling. I'm just crying like a baby, grabbing her hands, saying, oh, Grandma, please believe. You know, you were wrong. You were wrong. I'm telling you, this is the way to heaven. You got to get it. You got to get it. And as I'm sharing, I'm just hoping, I'm hoping like maybe she'll She'll open an eye. Give me some sort of sign, Lord. Maybe she'll squeeze my hand and just, just, just show me that, that you hear this message and there was nothing. And you just see that EKG monitor when it's going straight. And it's just, 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 man, I, I thought I was going to go nuts. There's the one time I wanted to take this book and just toss it. Because if I believe this, my grandmother was going to suffer right then and, and then that it's been 20 years and it's been suffering that whole time. Are you kidding me? Man, and, and, and I, I want to erase these things. I don't want to think hard about the truth, about the wrath of God. I don't want to think hard about people like that. But it's, it, those are the things that motivate us. Those are the things that motivated Paul. He goes, because I've got this unceasing anguish. I've got to do something. And, and, and remember, as, as she's dying, my brother is in the room, not walking with the Lord. He just, he just looks at me, you know. And I just looked at my brother. Like, oh, listen, Paul, 
I don't ever want to see you like this. I don't ever want to see you in a hospital room wondering where you're going. You've got to change your whole life. You've got to give your whole life to Jesus. I, you know, not just this little prayer, prayer. That, I mean, you follow him. You, you seriously follow him. You need to, you need to turn. And, and, uh, and my brother was like, gosh, I thought I believed until I, I saw you talking that day. And I realized I don't believe. I don't believe like you believe. And as I was sharing... He just looked at me, he goes, okay, 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 I'll change, I'll change. And, and, and I'm just thinking, you're, you're just saying it. You're just saying, you know, in my mind. But sure enough, a few weeks later, he goes, Francis, I, I literally, everything, um, I, I've changed. You, you know, the girl is living with, you know, that's, that's all over with. You know, I, 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 no more drinking, no partying, no nothing. He goes, I'm even driving the speed limit. <laughs> you know, I go that far. You know, but it's just a... But um, it really was that time. It really was. Uh, you know, and then it was a couple years later. He, he goes, you know what? I think I want to be a pastor like you. I, I think I want to go to seminary. And I want to. And, and now he's a pastor in San Francisco and works with the homeless in, in the Bay Area. And he takes these home. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's just. <laughs> it's everything you pray for, right? You know, because it's your big brother and you're always scared to talk and you're intimidated and everything else. But there's at that moment you're going. I don't really care. There's only one thing in my mind, and this is unceasing anguish for you. And that's what motivates us to talk. It's, a, it's just this love. And, and, and then that's why Paul, Paul's looking at these, you know, uh, these believers, and, and he says, I gotta I got tell you how much I hurt. I've got this unceasing anguish, and I'm just, I'm just curious, how much do you, how much do you love? So remember as elders, we, we, we sat down one time as the elders at Cornerstone and we all just started confessing. We said, you know, I think I used to love people more. I think I used to just hurt for the poor more. I used to love the lost more. And then I started learning. You know, and then I just, someone told me, well, you know what, your theology isn't quite right, so why don't you step out of that environment and let us teach you first. And then you start learning, getting these Bible studies, and you go, wow, I really don't know my stuff. You know, so you go through, and I better go to Bible college, and just, you know, and you get further and further away from the unbelievers. Then you get to Bible college, and you realize, wow, I really don't know anything. And so I better go to seminary. And you go to seminary, and it's like, wow, I really don't know anything. And you just keep going down this, this trail where I gotta know more, gotta know more, gotta know more, gotta know more. And that's good, let's do that, let's pursue that. But somehow we, we leave this, this world of lost people so often. You know what I'm talking about. And we, we, we get secluded and we get out here and we think hard about the scriptures, but we're no longer thinking about people. And somehow the apostles were able to do both. They grew in their knowledge of God, but they also grew in their love for people. And this unceasing anguish, it, it never stopped. They kept pursuing and thinking. And so I got to ask, is that true of you? I mean, are, are you still loving? Are you still burdened like you once were? Do you mourn for those who mourn? Does it break your heart that right now you've got brothers and sisters, they'll never sit in a room like this and have this kind of teaching? ever they're just trying to find water so they can survive right now what, is, what does that do to you like like there's mothers just going I, I, I don't even know this stuff you're debating in that room I just know that I got to feed my kids somehow today what does that do what does it do for you to think about kids in Thailand right now little girls that were abducted and they're just being raped repeatedly right now while we sit in this room what, what, what is it? Does, does it do anything? Is, is there a love? Man, man, I, I, I loved what Al Mohler was talking about. He's talking about this younger generation and the way they were thinking. And, and the whole idea is that's what we've got to think hard is so that we can help them change their minds because I'm worried about them. I'm worried about their eternal destiny. If they keep thinking with that type of worldview, they're not headed to this eternity with God. Does that break your heart? Is that what motivates you? I mean, why do you learn? Do you learn because you love? 
Because you love so much and you think, I gotta help them somehow. I gotta love these people somehow. And the only way is if I can understand this stuff.